Hi everyone, my name is Monor Mukul. In this video, I'll go through Oracle Grid Infrastructure Installation on Stand Alarm Server. And here you see that OEL75 is my uh, Ansible server where I have installed Ansible. Let's connect to the target server. And Aura X1 is my target server where I am going to install GI. So here I have already host file. I put the entry to Ansible works. We need to put, um, you know, that uh, host file entry uh, where I have already um, placed my target server, which one is Aura X1. and all others like servers i'll call time to time but let's connect to the server uh, to ansible works we need to set up ssis authentication all the um, users that we are going to uh, run different scripts so um, here um, i checked for um, uh, root user and grid user uh, for the target server so here is my master playbook, which is um, yeah, Oracle GI and Rack 21 CYML. So if we check that one, you will see here I am uh, trying to call roles, and role name is Rack GI SS 21C install. Uh, now let's see the tree structure for that one that particular role so here you see the structure here so um, uh, I try to make as simple as possible for a new who like new to Ansible who can test and uh, you know this um, uh, script or what I said this um, playbook whole playbook so here, um, if you look at uh, main.yml under bars, uh, only thing you need to modify this file based on your, your setup. So what I'm pointing with that, that uh, there may be different, you know, that if you look here, that um, for example, uh, like um, stage directory or software directory, um, and or I inventory okay. so when I put u01 that can be u02 u03 based on your setup so you need to modify um, this um, then this this group name now let's go to the um, playbook which is under task so oh, it should be full path I need to define the full path so if you look here very fast playbook inside there that um, uh, before that I need to say that you know I have already set up um, like uh, my target server is ready. I have um, uh, get the grid infrastructure software from the uh, OTN. So I'm opening second session so that I can uh, explain all those playbooks a little bit. So now here you see that first playbook where I'm running all the pre-tasks. So let's see what is there. So it's modify OS settings. So here I put very minimal here. So uh, like you know, if you need to set up many things um, related to OS setting, like SSS match or SSS mean or any other setup, you can add 
here like relate to a settings you can add create a playbook and add that one here so what i put here like stop firewall start a firewall then stop auto start up mm. now go for next next one this is oracle settings so they are like to install software there are different requirements to, um, uh, for oracle user or um, uh, bead user so again i make this simple just um, uh, myself but for your own setup like for your setup you can modify you can add more things there like this one just to create a user and uh, reset password for all the required users that um, we needed for uh, grid infrastructure software installation then require directories if i go to require directories you will see that here i include task so um, two tasks one is grid directories and another one is um, oracle directories so um, let's see this one so this is just uh, all the directories need to be created for grid user then this oracle directories this just relate to uh, oracle software installation so um, i created both uh, this time now if we go for next one so here you see that you install ntp so um, uh, install ntp for cluster yeah, i could um, add this one with os setting but anyway make it separate and then if i look for this chapter here this is mainly for cluster verification utility so um, uh, i put a brief uh, introduction so that you can see what actually it's doing this playbook um, so here as i mentioned before that uh, software is already downloaded from the otn i have already staged into stage directory then i'm just unpacking gi software to the oracle home directory to the first node and then running that um, cluster verification utility so if you see here that i'm using copy module to copy um, and like items so there are two items if you see that on one is like a response file in grid setup 21c.rsp that is response file and next one is pre-install rpm and both of them are sitting on uh, like template directory so from template um, uh, to copying to stage directory Tag is just defining a tag so that I can run this playbook using that tag. So now uh, let's go to template section. Here you see the, all those directory that like I'm calling is this directory. So ultimately that um, will read from my parse file. So under verse directory, there is a main.yml which has got all the variables defined. And if you look here under template that those two files that I am um, copying. So I used copy module to copy from which I already set that up and then copy from the template to stage directory. Now next one is um, unpack which is unzip so I am just um, using Ansible unarchive module like unarchive module I could do that zip module Linux one shell one but anyway I am using unarchive module and um, if you look here so that is my stage directory so I have already staged software to the directory so in your case if you define the software directory you need to 
download any stress grid software to your software directory path and modify variables files accordingly and i am running this to that my target um, server which is ura x1 and after ungp near i am going to install cluster verification utility so if you look that um, first if i say that first playbook section has been done next section i'm going to install oracle gi software so um, if you check this one so here you will see that um, i'm installing software ultimately it's kind of silent installation using response file so um, i'm calling git setup dot shell that we do silent and defining that response file which i have already said that and then passing all the um, variables and redirect output log and if you look here um, like if you look here then you will see that failed when when so that's based on my condition so you can find what the message you're getting and you can set that accordingly next section is from log file to give a message so the next after that when that is done then you know that normally not not normally you always need to run the root skip so here uh, those two root skips i define mm. after that uh, like uh, config tools like read infrastructure config tools we need to execute that one so here we are executing uh, execute config tools um, and then validate the output log and next section is just a post installation so post install part is uh, setting the or at entry for um, ASL. After that, check the cluster CRS resource and not cluster CRS resource and status, and then check the um, high availability. When that is done, we are just setting a bash profile for greed user. If you look here, then after that, we are just removing stress directory and displaying a message. Uh, Transible playbook run is, you know, it's very quick. We were like in a, in a sense that um, we are not running all these um, uh, 20, 30 steps. It's just running one playbook and it will execute. So let's go through there and start executing this playbook. So if you look here, it's creating all the required directories for grid and OS, then NTP for cluster. So if you see that, okay, means it's already, you know, there. So, and if you see that the yellow mark, so it just um, the changed status is there. So unpack software, it can take two to three minutes. So I pause here. So now it's going to cluster verification utility from local file. Next one is here. You see that it's installed Oracle GI software. It can be two to three minutes based on your system resource. In my case, it's yeah, yeah, that is done. I paused there. Now executing root is skipped is quick. Then here we see the log file. So uh, log file looks good.
now it is doing config tools so um, i'm going to like paused here for a few minutes but anyway that has been done and if you look there so it's been done within 30 minutes here So here you see that messes and, and the completed installation Oracle Ragia is turned on software successfully. So you have successfully installed um, Oracle um, Bid Infrastructure Installation on Stanon which also known as um, uh, Oracle Restart. Um, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.